Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Joy in the Morning. Welcome. Whew. Be free indeed. Be free indeed, yes. Seems like an easy enough topic. John chapter 8. I had a hard time with it. Well, it's it's, it's not a complex uh, thought, but it is a difficult journey. Yeah, it is because um, we can say that the Word of God is truth and everything must come from the Word of God. Everything that's truth has to line up with the Word of God. That's really a simple thing to say, right? It is. It's but another thing to live. <laughs> it's another thing to live and even in your mind to like line everything up with that. So anyway, hope you had a good Sunday and um, you want to start us off here? How? With the verse? Yikes. Okay, how about that? Yeah, okay. the verse. Verse 32 of chapter 8 of the book of John. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. So that's where the message comes from. Um, were you going to say something there? No. Okay, well, um, so... When we're talking about truth, we it's not just a personal truth, right? Because everyone can have a what they call a personal truth. But that's more perspective. Truth is something that actually is not what I feel, right. what I'm thinking, so, what I believe. Right. So that's a really big point to make. It's not about a personal truth. It's about a biblical truth. Absolutely. What is actually true. Right. In the world today, we have people who say, um, well, this is true for me, and that actually is not a truth. It, it can only it can be, be yeah. a truth if it's on right. the Word of God. Absolutely. But, yeah. So, um, there must be a truth. Mm -hmm. There must be a truth. There has to be a truth, and everything that is true should coincide with that or line up with it. And any true freedom must be built on that truth. Yes. Or it can't actually be... You know, uh, long lasting. And God's word is truth. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And so, one of the things you talked about well, the name of the message is actually um, Free Indeed. Be Free Indeed. Freedom. Um, so, what actually is freedom in truth? Um, what, tr what truly is freedom? Freedom is not your, um, ch your choice to do whatever feels right for you. That's that doesn't that's not the definition of freedom, okay? In scripture. In scripture. Um, it's, which means truth. Right. So the definition of freedom is not just you having the freedom to do whatever you want to do. Right. The, because my freedom could Infringe. impact infringe upon your freedom. Yes. So we have to have a truth. And the truth, which has stood the test of time, mm -hmm. um, is God's word. That's right. It has been the truth for since Adam and Eve, right? Yeah. God's word is the thing that is... And the way God describes it is, it's always been the truth because Jesus is preexistent. Yeah. And, and he actually is the incarnate word. Yeah. And John, so. it says... Um, and... The, and um, the word was made flesh. The word was made flesh, yes. Mm -hmm. The word was made flesh, and that is Jesus. He yeah. is the word. He is the truth. So um, the devil, he wants to influence us in every area of our life. He wants to um, put doubts in our minds and make us doubt what is truly um, free and why would God want us to have to live within these boundaries? Mm -hmm. That's not really freedom. That's what the Satan tells us. Right. That's what the world comes to us and says. Always. <laughs> yeah. So if you if you listen to that, then you think you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And that that's actually the fo the foundation for things like anarchy, and, and that always leads to con you know chaos in in society in our own lives even. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I'm not always right, and my feeling isn't always right. And if my freedom is to do that, then I can, I can get myself into a lot of trouble. Yeah, so he can take even something that seems like it should be a truth mm -hmm. and um, just add to it, subtract from it, and then it's no longer mm -hmm. a 
a truth at all. But freedom requires that we live within the boundaries of truth. Right. So I want you to just think about that a second. I had a hard time wrapping my head around just the way that sounds. So it says freedom requires that we live within the boundaries of truth. So um, we there are boundaries and there are rules and there are commandments and all these things for a reason. Now, in our flesh, we want to just go off and do whatever we want to do, right? And say, well, this is truth for me. I don't feel like I should have to live within those boundaries, so I'm not going to. But true freedom is found in living within the boundaries that the Word of God has established us for us to live in. Right. Yeah. Because freedom, you defined it as the world defines it. But when we define it as God defines it, it is the rest of that Mm -hmm. statement that you were saying. Mm -hmm. It's the freedom to do what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Even though we're drawn to do something else, we've been set free of those bonds. And now I can do the right thing by my family, my wife, my nation, my whatever. And it doesn't always feel like something I want to do. But it is something that if I want the, the fruit of freedom mm-hmm. to um, to be felt and enjoyed by my family, then I need to stay within the boundaries of the freedom that God lays out for us in the Word of God. Right. And um, so it sounds it sounds complicated, but I guess at at its core, it's really not complicated. Well, without it's, boundaries, though, there's no. There, there can be no real peace to know that we're we're, we're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, yeah. it, it's like the people not sailing around the world because they thought they were going to fall off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, always afraid you get into the wrong place. So. So in God's word, <clears throat> He says that in the days of Noah, every man did that which was right in his own eyes. So they just did whatever felt good, right? How'd God feel about that? He wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> So they just totally <laughs> disregarded God's word. Exactly. And they did what they felt like doing. <clears throat> hey, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like you. I do not want to go on my feelings <laughs> because I could be in a whole lot of trouble if I did. But most often we want to go with our feelings. Yeah, we do. We just should know better. Right. And we have to think about the consequences. Right. The consequences of the seeds that we um, so, you know, the freedoms that we take. Right. Um, and every time we overstep, there is a penalty. You know, God calls that truth, uh, stepping over the truth, sin. Yes. And there's always a penalty of sin, and the Bible says that's, that's right. death. That's right. And so it may not impact me, but I have to remember there are those around me that it might impact like, right. um, like our granddaughter, she she means the world to me, and I want her to see a Grammy that loves Jesus and that right. obeys God's word because because it's good for you, because right. it's good for health, it's good for eternity. Right. I hope someday she'll be a believer in Jesus and she will go to heaven with us someday. Right. So I have to be leading her toward that and not you know running off and doing whatever. Right. And so for some people, the problem is believing there is a truth or believing that the word is truth or that Jesus is necessary. Yes, that's true. But for most of us, we we try to strive to become better, Mm -hmm. you know, make good choices Mm -hmm. where here in John, the scripture says that we're made free. We don't Mm -hmm. achieve freedom. We don't, you know do this psychological thing until we no longer want evil things. So if we're made free, Mm -hmm. um, does that give me the freedom to go do whatever I want then? No, because we just defined what that freedom is according to scripture. To do what's right. To do what's right. See, by our own nature, our feelings, our desires are drawn to cross those lines and to do what is pleasurable for me only. Do what comes naturally. Right. Where true freedom says, 
I don't have to suffer the consequences of those bad choices right. if I do what God told me in the first mm -hmm. place. But being made free means it's not by turning over a new leaf. It's not by, you know, re-educating my psyche, you know, in worldly things. Yeah. It's by trusting in God, trusting in God. and his word. Mm -hmm. And so it's a process of transformation mm -hmm. by you know, regeneration. One of the things you said yesterday, and I hope I wrote it down and I don't know, I don't know if I did or not, but you said, um, the more we listen to, um, the devil's lies, the more we will begin to consider them our own thoughts. And, uh, that's a problem that I believe is a big problem today is that people hear all these things coming into us like uh, from you know um, media social media and mm -hmm. all these different ways coming into us and pretty pretty soon we begin to think there are our thoughts well I you know on the news this morning I just saw that they were talking about how that social media like Facebook for example since people hear all of these things from the groups that they're yeah. engaged in, mm -hmm. even if you're not on Facebook, if you're in those groups, you're constantly getting this mindset. Right. And so you're even being affected by the Facebook mm -hmm. groups of your friends, yeah. and it's impacting the way you think and what you believe to so be true. Pretty soon we, be we begin to believe lies and think that they are our own thoughts. Right. And they really... Oh, I've discovered this. And it, and it, but it really doesn't matter <laughs> if they're our own thoughts or not. Doesn't. If they don't line up with what we know to be God's word, if they don't line Absolutely. up with this, then they're wrong. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something that comes naturally to us. Right. Um, or That feels good. Or, or even seems good. to bear immediate reward. Yeah. You know, Paul wrote about this too in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. But in verse 2 it says... Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, how? By the, By the renewing of your mind. Yeah. That ye may prove what is that good the, and, acceptable and acceptable and perfect will of the God. good and the acceptable right. and perfect will of God. Right. But how do we do it? By renewing our mind in the Word. In the Word. So, uh, ideally, if we were telling our children to... Um, to get more of this good thing. We would say, okay, however many hours you spend on this, you need to spend this many hours doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So as many hours as you spend on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. are you spending that in the right. word of God? Mm -hmm. yeah. or, or, or can you see how disparaging that is that I'm spending mm -hmm. you know, three right. hours a day listening to all this garbage and I spend 10 minutes in the morning reading a verse. And I don't know if there's such a thing as a quiet time anymore because people have this constant mm -hmm. um, coming into the brain, you know, this constant noise. And so that noise is telling us something. Absolutely. It's feeding us something. What are you allowing it to say to you? Right. And um, I know, I know how it affects me. And I also know that I'm, I can get off track. Every one of us. I can. I can get off track mm -hmm. and I can follow that uh, worldly advice, you know, do what's right for you, Jackie. Do what feels good for you, Jackie. And so I really need to, there are times when I need to buckle down more mm -hmm. and be in God's word more. And um, I need to fill my mind with sermons that I know are going to be truth. And then disconnect from... And everything else and spend yeah. that time with God. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to talk about those things, meditating on the word, yes. memorizing Meditate, the word of God, marinating on the word of God, <laughs> yeah, allowing right. it to soak in, right? Right. Instead of all the other stuff. And if we live in the natural man and follow the natural man, um, our, our body feels like it should, you know, chase after other things well wherever you go i mean you can go be in the grocery store people have earbuds in or they got the mm -hmm. phone and it's it's not always a person sometimes they're just listening to yeah. to things podcasts and all right. kinds of things you you can't even go out to eat anymore without the person in the next booth you know um saying some filthy story and the next thing you know you're hearing it right and, and um boy you better be in god's word if you want to combat that that's right 
that happened to us last week. We were sitting there and I almost just asked the girl to move us because I didn't want to hear that woman's story and all mm -hmm. those F-bombs she was throwing all over mm -hmm. the place, you know, and boy, we're just bombarded with it, though. But anyway, right. anyway, anyway. But, you know, another thing is people don't really believe that freedom in Christ Jesus is necessarily a good thing or the right. best thing. Right, they don't feel like it's freedom. Well, yeah, and they don't feel like, I they well, feel I like don't get to enjoy laws. all right. of these right. things that everybody yeah. around me are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to bear the consequences of those. You don't have to live with the, with the damage to you, yourself, mm -hmm. and others, and your church, and right. the reputation of your God. Right, and, the clo <clears throat> and honestly, the closer you, you get to God, the more freedom he gives you in a lot of other areas where you totally do feel free. Right. And you don't feel the pull to go do those other things that you that are that the world says are right, but you you're contented with the things that he's doing for you in your life. Right. One of the most blessed things as a result of it is the the removal of so much fear in our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can actually be at peace when everything's still in turmoil. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you don't focus on fixing things and take care of the details and mm -hmm. do your job well. That's not what we're talking about, but we're talking about not being afraid yeah. and, and being able to just trust. Yeah. And that's not saying, okay, God, it's yours, so I'm not going to do anything. It's kind of like the old <clears throat> illustration about um, driving your vehicle within the law, right? Mm -hmm. If you're doing the speed limit and you're driving on your side of the lane and you stay mm -hmm. within those lines there's freedom in that mm -hmm. because you know you're safe you know the cop's not going to pull you over mm -hmm. and you can just go about your life because you're, fr you're and there's free a real to measure of security in it yeah that's a good illustration mm -hmm. to be able to describe the staying within the boundaries of god's word right yeah right and then <clears throat> when we have the faith to trust in God and his word and we begin to know this freedom that's when we get down to the end where it says if Jesus Christ if the Lord makes you free then be free indeed let it be who you are quit picking up that old stuff mm -hmm. the old fears the old uh, way of thinking the old habits and just trust that God's got something better mm -hmm. and let it become who you are. Embrace those changes yes. and focus on letting him change you even yes. more. Mm -hmm. And though some people, again, what they're afraid of is, well, I'm going to miss out on something. Yeah. What can you miss out on when every good gift and every perfect, perfect gift. gift cometh down yeah. from the Father of Lights? It does. And he blesses us so much more than Amen. we could ever um, <clears throat> think of or, or expect or um, require. He just blesses us. and um, So the more Christ-like we become, also, the more everyone around us is benefited. The more peace and joy and mm -hmm. contentment and happiness and all those things we can have. doesn't mean you're perfect. It doesn't <laughs> mean every moment you're contented in Christ, but it means you you have a lot more of that in your yeah, life. And, that's right. And you're working exactly. toward it. Yeah. All right. I hope that helps. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. <laughs>